guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna do something a little bit different. I've decided that I'm gonna start my videos a little bit differently. I have a meditation channel. If you guys wanna check that out, you can click below. I teach you how to do different kinds of meditations. But I thought, why do I need to just teach that on my meditation channel? Why don't I use this platform, especially since I've been doing like makeup therapy and more geared towards like sit down chatty videos, talking about life, talking about things that are important to me, things that I want to, um, put out there for your feedback, all that good stuff. Why not do a little bit of something like that in the beginning of all of my videos? So what I wanna do is every time it'll be a little bit different. Sometimes it might be a short meditation. Sometimes it might be like a little exercise. I don't know, we're just gonna go for it. So today I want you to just, if you're watching this video, close your eyes. Close your eyes right now. I'm gonna close them with you. And now as you inhale, I want you to mentally say to yourself, I am grateful for, and as you exhale, I want you to say what you are grateful for. So inhale, I am grateful for. Exhale, inhale, I am grateful for. Exhale, my breath. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Open your eyes. And then anytime that you wanna do that, simple breathing exercise, long inhale, I'm grateful for, exhale, say something. When we live in gratitude and we live from a space of gratitude, we attract more things that make us feel grateful. We become an energetic match for those things. What you put out is what you get back. It's a very simple um, practice of that. It's a practice of mindfulness, of being present, and of living in that gratitude and not living in um, in the future or in the past. So I wanted to just do that before we kick into today's haul. I have seen all of these Sephora VIB sale haul videos. I watched so many recommendation videos. Videos. I have not shopped a Sephora VIB sale in years, actually years, and this time I shopped it. I watched so many recommendation videos before I shopped it, and um, I had my cart just like rotating things I really wanted, things I needed, and I think I picked like a really good mix of stuff and I'm ridiculously excited about it, and I've had it for like four days. Haven't had time to sit down and film this video, but I haven't tried anything because I wanna try some of it on camera. I got dupes of things, like my big pickup was primers um, because I had a lot of those that I wanted to try, and I also picked up, I think, um, a couple foundations too, but like the big thing was primers, and you'll see that in a minute. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up that I knew I wanted to try was the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Now I got so many primers that I got the miniature version of this. I'm also somebody that because I like to try new makeup products and see what's out there, um, and I don't really love pore filling primers, I knew I wanted to try this before I bought like the really big version. And this actually seems like a good, good size to me. So I got the miniature, looks like this, and oh, mine has a little dent in it. Whoa, I feel like it looks really different than the big one. Maybe not though. Ooh, it smells really good. I'm gonna touch it. I can touch it now. I did touch it in the store. It's like why I bought it, I touched it in the store. I know everyone raves, but I do not like pore filling primers, but seriously, people rave about this so much that I had to pick this up. And that was the second wave. I do not know if you heard that, but I now have to pause to deal with a situation that is probably gonna come out her pants any minute. I'll be right back. Isla, you stink pot. You look like you're still working, I'm concerned. That sounded absolutely ginormous. The other primer that I got a mini of, I know is in here. I know it's on here. I know I got it at the Sephora store. And it is the Milk Makeup Hydro Primer, which I think this is gonna be one of my new favorite primers. Based on what I have heard, this, by the way, is like, I feel like a huge bottle of primer, especially like, so what, where's another one of my primers? So this is like a primer oil. This is still a really good size, and I like to try all different kinds of things, and so I probably only wanna try this much of a primer, especially with like so many primers that I got. So this, if you haven't heard of it, it's the Hydro Grip Primer. It is, apparently it's like hydrating while also leaving kind of a sticky tacky feel on the skin. That way it just like really grips the makeup, and I guess it makes your makeup last a really long time. And now that I'm in the working world, holla at your working mom, and holla at all you working moms out there that are amazing, 
I want my makeup to last a long time and I have noticed when I don't wear a primer, I start to break up because now I'm like out of the house with a full face of makeup on for eight to nine hours a day. And so I really want makeup to last. Today, I used the Supernova Elixir um, and you guys, it keeps my skin hydrated and it just, my skin looks really good and my makeup's lasting a long time. I also use my NARS um, Radiant Longwear Foundation combined with my LA Pro Coverage Illuminating one. I forgot how much I loved that combo. It's a little dark for me now, which is why I took it all the way down the neck, but I'm excited to try this primer and see if it makes my makeup last longer. For the next primer, I got the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I know Jeffree Star loves this. I think he got Tati onto it. I know other people really love it. Um, truly, sincerely, I am so freaking excited for this. I haven't even touched it or felt it ever. It just, like, I love the packaging. It's so aesthetically pleasing to me. And I think this is kind of like a thicker cream. Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am so excited to try this. Oh, it's so, like, thick and hydrating. Oh, it kind of smells like, um, I don't know. Oh, that was the top, but I don't need it. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this. Although, like, how weird is it? Jo the jar, like, there's product all the way out to here, but this is so, you have, so you have to, like, scoop your finger in it eventually. I feel like it needs to be as wide as it, you know? That seems a little odd, but whatever. We'll try it out. I'm excited to try that. And then I think just one more primer. I told you guys, primer heavy. This is primer skincare. It is the Tatcha The Dewy Skin Cream. I wanted this in the full size. I knew that I was gonna love this. This is the Ultra Hydrating Anti-Aging um, Face Cream, and I know that a lot of people like using this as a primer. Oh, fancy packaging, okay. Oh, wow, instructions. Purple rice, an ancient precious rice packed with nutrients, has long been beloved in Japan and used to celebrate longevity and vitality. Um, cool. Every purchase you make supports girls' education around the world. Room to read. That's the foundation. To use, scoop a pearl-sized amount of cream with a gold spoon. Massage on the face, neck, and decolletage and upward strokes. Use daily, morning, and night. And yes, I wanted this as a moisturizer. I know people use it as a base, but I really wanted this as a moisturizer. And just like how freaking brilliant the spatula in the top. I know you've seen this a hundred times, so you don't really care but that you don't have to stick your fingers in it. I just really love that. Um, if I could open it. Oh my gosh, it's like so luxurious. I don't usually keep these top things and I'm not gonna keep this one either. I'm just gonna put a little like on my wrist on from this top thing. Rub it around. Oh my gosh, so hydrating. Ooh, just like scoop it out. Oh, I can't wait. To use this cannot wait going to be epic I know this is probably gonna go upstairs in my bathroom not down here by the makeup studio that way I use it oh someone's here the dogs are barking okay I got a couple foundations oh I also um, traded in a 100 point reward for the caviar anti-aging CC moisture cream um, leave-in conditioner for the hair so I'll try that out. Um, but then I got two foundations. I got the YSL uh, Touche Clot All-in-One Glow in Ivory B20. Um, the shades were kind of weird. I did. I, it took me a little bit to match mine, but I think this is a pretty good match for me. It is a little bit, I think, on the yellow side, but it, it is a pretty good match, and when I'm a little bit tanner, it'll be really good. I just thought this was so hydrating. I really am loving my Laura Mercier. I don't want to pump too much of this out because it's expensive, um, but this is what it looks like. And it's so it's very hydrating. It's very glowy, and it's like a skin tint. So it is not a full coverage, but truly, I like loved the finish of it. I love that it's lighter coverage, especially going into spring and summer months, and I'm really liking my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, so I wanted to try this out and see how it compares in coverage and in texture and in finish and all that good stuff. Um, plus, this has been on my list for a little while, so I was really excited to pick that up. Then I picked up, which this is upstairs in my purse, but I'm gonna show you guys. I've been using it because this was the one thing I had to try. I was just way too excited to not, I had to try this before I filmed the video, I'm really sorry. This is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in the berry color, and it is amazing, it is brilliant, it is so glowy. Right now I'm wearing Matte Costa Chic, and one of my other favorites, which is the um, NARS 
um, Afterglow Balm and Orgasm on top, which is really pretty spring color combo. But this is amazing. It's so hydrating. It's a little bit thicker than like a normal balm and it has a little bit of color to it. I got the berry. Smells really good. Doesn't taste good though, just smells good. And um, it's really pretty. So I, I'm a big fan of that. And I got that recommendation from Jamie Page, but I know a lot of people that use it and love it. I also picked up, I have already the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation, which I love in the shade Cashew 2N1. But I wanted to get the Flawless Lumiere Radiance, Radiance Perfecting Foundation. Same shade, 2N1 Cashew. The finish looks amazing, the coverage, and literally almost every, every single VIB recommendations video for this sale recommended this foundation. So I was like, okay, your girl gonna get the foundation. Here I am with the foundation. These last two were where I went rogue in the store. And then we'll get to my online order. Oh, well, I got more than I thought I did. Oh, you fancy girl. So I got the Dior Addict Stellar Shine in CD Dream 535. It's one of their lipsticks and it is so stunning. I have tried this once. It's just a really like nude, high shine, glossy, sheer lipstick. Seems really like extra for an expensive like Dior product, but let me tell you, it's hydrating, it's moisturizing. I'm loving things like this. I love things like this, like dewy, glowy, lip glossy type balm lipsticks for spring, summer. I think they're stunning. And I swatched this after I swatched like the Tarte um, replenishing, you know, the vegan lip surgeons ones. I wanted that nude and they didn't have it in the store and it was in my cart. So I knew I was gonna buy it, but then I found this one and I was like, I'm gonna buy this too because I really need it now. So that was an impulse buy. And then the other impulse buy, which I'm so excited about, I literally can't wait to film a video. I don't know what primer I'm gonna use. That's the problem. But I got the Bobbi Brown Nude Drama Eyeshadow Palette and I debated between this and the NARS Summer Nights or the Hot Nights. Um, but at the end of the day, I just, I thought this was so pretty. First of all, the packaging is beautiful, like very nude. And the colors are just they look very simple but they're really beautiful and i see myself using this as like an every single day palette really stunning shimmers let me just show you a few they are really let's see if you can no idea if that's in focus or not but they're really 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 pretty i also wish i would have gotten the natasha denona gold palette i think i am going to buy that for myself in the future maybe for mother's day okay so those are my two rogue items from in store. Then I placed my online order. And the first thing that I got is the all infamous Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Um, everyone and their mother has been talking about this. I think we should just go ahead and try it. Obviously don't know if it'll help my makeup last, but I just, it's so pretty, it is so pretty. And um, they say that it's like ultra, oh. Oh my God. Mmm. So I'm pretty sure that you just missed me spraying my face with that, but it literally smells like a delicious, delicious watermelon jelly rancher, like everybody says. And the mist is like epic. Oh my God. Best mister. Best mister ever. Oh my gosh, that's seriously amazing. Oh, I'm so excited about it. Okay, my camera's gonna die. My baby's getting fussy, so we're gonna move fast. The next thing that I got is, I did get the Rainforest of the Sea Quench Lip Rescue in the shade Nude, you guys. I found this, I had like a trial of this somewhere. I don't know, I have like a mini version of it and it's literally beautiful. Like, it's so wet with like a little bit of a nude color to it. Okay, it doesn't look as nude here it does on my lips, but. It just looks clear there, but it actually is nude. I don't know, my other one has color to it and it's the same color as this. So I don't know, but anyway, these are absolutely stunning, so hydrating, can't say enough good things about them. I also picked up the Faux Tan Bare Minerals Bronzer. I forget whose VIB recommendations I saw this in. I feel like it was in a couple people's, like that these bronzers are really good. I also want the highlighter in Joy, but they didn't have it in stock online. So I got this one and I'm really excited to try it, you guys. I don't use very many Bare Minerals products and so, Ooh, that looks a lot darker than, whoa, that's really dark. I feel like I'm gonna hate that. It did not look that dark online. Okay, well, I don't know. We're gonna have to try that out. 
Then, what else did I get in here? Ooh, I got the Marc Jacobs, the Runway Collection Highlighter. Jamie Page talked about this. It's called Worth the Wait. Now, both dogs and the baby are down here. What do you guys want? What are you guys doing? Here's the highlighter. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Should we put a little bit of that on? There's literally no kick up. That may... Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Okay, that is blinding. See me from space highlighter. Do you go oh my gosh. Okay, well I'm very excited to keep using that. That's literally like the world's biggest highlighter. It's as big as my freaking face. <laughs> okay, and then along with this, I got two other Marc Jacobs products and then we're done. And then we're done, Isla. I got the Ingenue powder, that's the shade, it's number 50, the Accomplice powder. This has the brush. Hi, baby girl. This is the powder. Well, the highlighter is so huge and the powder is just like a normal size. It's a blurring powder and the brush is in the top. And this does like lift, by the way, to slide it back in. I think people don't know that and they're just like shoving it back in, but you just pull it out. And a lot of people say they don't like this brush, but this is brilliant, in my opinion, for touch-ups. It's magnetic. I'm really excited to try this powder. Apparently, rave reviews. All right, the last full-size product I got is the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Concealer, and the shade I got is in Light 23. Again, I've heard really good things about this. Ooh, I don't know about that. Color. Oh no, that's probably right. Oh my gosh, that's creamy. We will definitely be using this in an upcoming video. I've heard really good things about this and I love the idea of having a touch-up stick. Marc Jacobs packaging is so expensive feeling and awesome. Wow, that blends out so well. We should come out with a stick foundation. Oh my gosh, that feels nice. And then I also exchanged a reward um, online. I got the Bare Minerals Dew Mist to try out that setting spray. So yeah, that is it for my Sephora VIB haul. Thank you guys for bearing with me. Thank you, Isla. I hope you guys like the new intro to my videos and how we're gonna do a little bit of a practice or breathing or something, meditation or something short in the beginning of my videos. If you're excited for that, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're excited to see me put all these products to the test, give me another thumbs up. I'm really nervous about that bronzer. That's the only thing I'm nervous was a bad purchase. So we'll see how it goes. I love you, have a beautiful day, and I will see you in my next one. Mwah.